Hey, it's Matt. Welcome to Practice Perfect University. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up custom forms in Microsoft Word for use with Practice Perfect. Let's get started. Step 1. To start, open up your copy of Microsoft Word and ensure that you're using version 2007 or above. Please note that in this video, we're using Microsoft Word 2010. Once you've verified your version, create a blank document. Next, ensure that the developer ribbon is enabled. If you don't know how to do so, pay attention to the next portion of this video. Click on File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and click the checkbox beside Developer. This will add the Developer tab to the ribbon at the top of your screen. Step 2. Begin by typing out the title, the headings, and the individual fields you wish to include in the document. Be sure that you leave a blank space either beside or below your heading, depending on where you want the information to go. If you want to organize your form using tables, like the one you see here, you may find it helpful to protect the size of the table and make sure that it isn't messed up when information is added. To do this, highlight the table, right-click it, and go to Auto Fit. Then just select Fixed Column Width so your table isn't wonky when the fields are filled out. Step 3. When you're happy with your headings, you'll need to insert a text form field beside each of them. To insert a text form field, navigate to the Developer tab and click on Legacy Tools, and then Text Form Field. You'll then notice a gray area beside the heading. Do this for each one of your headings that you want Practice Perfect to fill out. Step 4. Right click each of the text form fields and click on properties to reveal the text form field options panel. Under field settings, input some text in the bookmark field that will help you identify the heading when uploading the document to Practice Perfect. For example, if you have a heading for the client's name, name your heading client name. Or if you have a heading for date of birth, name it date of birth. Note that you cannot include any spaces in your bookmark. Also ensure that the box beside fill in enabled has been checked. While this video only discusses text form fields, the process applies universally. Different types of fields like checkboxes and drop down lists can also be found in the legacy tools section and will have to be set up the same way. Step 5. Last but not least, you need to lock the document so that the only changes that can be made are to the form fields themselves. To do this, select Restrict Editing or Protect Document, depending on which version of Word you are running, from the Developer tab. Under the Editing Restrictions heading, select Filling in Forms. And when you're all done, save your document and exit Microsoft Word. Thanks for visiting. Be sure to check out the other videos in Practice Perfect University. Take care.